a day of parties, pomp and ceremony to celebrate 70 years on the throne. But pageantry like this doesn't come cheap. To help, a series of, quote, platinum partners paid substantial sums to aid funding the Queen's Jubilee celebrations. Partners like the Britannia Financial Group, an investment firm which has also donated more than half a million pounds to the Conservative Party since 2019 and controlled by an international financier called Julio Herrera Volutini, who last night was indicted by the FBI for allegedly bribing a former Puerto Rican governor so investigations into another of his banks would be dropped. Wanda Vasquez left the San Juan Federal Courthouse yesterday defiant. I am innocent, she told reporters. I have not committed any crime or any irregularity. She's accused of accepting bribes in 2019 and 2020 from this man, Julio Herrera Velutini. Mr. Velutini owns Bank Credito, which was being investigated by Puerto Rican regulators over suspicious banking transactions. The alleged bribe, according to the FBI, will sack the person in charge of the regulators in return for a very special donation to help the re-election of Ms. Vasquez. In exchange, Herrera Valentini paid more than $300,000 to political consultants in support of the governor's campaign. The FBI do not name the political strategists employed in their indictment, instead calling them the international consulting firm. But Channel 4 News can reveal it was CT Group, the company owned by Sir Linton Crosby, who has a long history of working with the Conservative Party. According to the indictment, messages and emails were sent to CT Group discussing the services they were to provide, saying the governor is very excited about the prospect of utilising the international consulting firm for her re-election campaign, adding the bulk of the payment will be done by Julio H. The indictment goes on to describe what they claim was a face-to-face -face meeting between CT Group and Vasquez at a hotel in San Juan, saying during the February 28th meeting, the partners from international consulting firm gave a presentation of the services it could offer to Vasquez in support of her election campaign, including research and campaign strategy formulation. The man from CT who took the lead on this project was former partner Mark Fulbrook. He no longer works for CT Partners, now running Fulbrook Strategies. His most recent client, Prime Ministerial hopeful Liz Truss and her leadership campaign. We are at a critical moment for our country. Tonight, a spokesperson for CT Group said, CT Group complies with all laws and regulations and existing and former employees are fully and voluntarily engaged with the US authorities as witnesses. CT was engaged only by Mr. Herrera and only to conduct opinion research for him and no one else. It never did any work for nor presented any research findings to the governor or her campaign. It has not been engaged by him since. Mr. Herrera Velutini denies all the charges against him in full. Not in denial, though, is the £535,000 his firm donated to the Conservative Party since 2019. Campaigners believe political parties should be scrutinising who gives them money in much more detail. If wrongdoing, criminal wrongdoing or otherwise, is, is proven in this case, I think it's absolutely reasonable, again, to suggest that good judgment doesn't just have to apply to donations that might be received in the future, but political parties have got to ask themselves if they're exercising good judgment by keeping donations that are linked to companies or individuals linked to wrongdoing elsewhere. All parties in this tale deny any wrongdoing, but if the FBI is right, Miss Vasquez could face 20 years in prison. So seven donations to the Conservative Party since 2019 from Britannia Financial Group, the most recent in March for £50,000. Tonight, the Conservative Party have said donations to the Conservative Party are properly and transparently declared to the Electoral Commission, openly published by them and complied fully with the law. We also actually have a statement from Platinum Jubilee uh, Pageant Company who were involved in the Queen's 
Jubilee uh, celebration saying due diligence was conducted on all prospective donors and partners by an independent third party. Each report was extensive, reaching the same standard as major cultural institutions and universities. Thanks very much, Paul.